This year, the focus of the observance of World AIDS Day is to ensure equal opportunities for all. The intention is to address the issue of inequality, which has been identified as a major setback in the progress towards ending AIDS. According to a UN article, quote, the inequalities which perpetuate the AIDS pandemic are not inevitable. We can tackle them. This World AIDS Day, UN AIDS is urging each of us to address the inequalities which are holding back progress in ending AIDS, end quote. At home, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs is playing its part in educating and providing continuous care for those living with the virus while sensitizing the entire population in a manner that would eliminate any stigmas or discrimination towards those living with the virus. HIV medication, also known as antiretroviral treatment, is available to all persons living with HIV and is free of cost from all pharmacies that distribute HIV medication. Any person living with HIV can get their doctor's visits, monitoring tests, and other necessary medications from within the public system without any cost to them. Public services can be accessed within the sexual and reproductive health clinics by calling to make an appointment or by doing a walk-in in an emergency. Senior Medical Officer of the Infectious Diseases Unit, Dr. Gail Gajada, says the annual observance also focuses on remembrance. Remembering the advancements made in the fight against the pandemic, remembering the threat is still real, and remembering those past and gone. The first known case of HIV in St. Lucia was in 1985. Since then, the number of deaths due to AIDS has reduced dramatically position that no one should be dying from AIDS and unfortunately we have had at least eight deaths between January and now from AIDS and, and that is something that should not be happening. Um, we have an issue whereby there are persons who may be diagnosed late, you know, do not seek um, medical care for not feeling unwell and they are diagnosed to the point that they are admitted at hospital and don't make it out of hospital. According to statistics, 917 persons have been recorded as living with HIV in St. Lucia. Of that number, 298 persons in care are actively collecting HIV medication. The ministry continues to encourage persons to seek help, which is mostly at no cost. Please access that help and let our medical professionals help you to have a better quality of life if you have become infected. A finger prick, a rapid HIV test, and 15 minutes is all it takes to find out whether you may or may not be infected. This is a free service provided by the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs. In addition to this service being available at the sexual and reproductive health clinics, you may access rapid HIV testing services in all eight health regions in St. Lucia. Medication to prevent the transmission of HIV, called PrEP, also known as pre-exposure prophylaxis, is also available, free of charge to the recipient. For some time, HIV AIDS campaigns focused on eliminating stigma. Whilst the world has come a long way, stigma still exists and plays a role in lives still being lost to the virus. Events for the day included testing and other activities where participants won prizes for partaking. For the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Sant Justin.